If you could start by telling us about these changes uh, in direction that you're bringing about for the Infosys Science Foundation Awards and the thinking behind those. Well, uh, as you know, Infosys and Infosys Science Foundation are organizations that have believed in innovation, that have believed in new ideas, that have believed in transformative progress, mm. and that have believed in uh, discussion, debate, that will help us to move towards experimentation of new ideas. Mm. We have had the current set of rules for selecting winners for the last 15 years, 2009 to 2024. Uh, there were some pros and cons. Uh, first of all, there were some extraordinary people that uh, were recognized. Uh, and, and I think there is a certain interest in pursuing research because some of these people have operated as role models mm. for young researchers. Mm. On the other side, we find that by selecting people who are at the, you know, are reaching the age of 50, mm. in the Indian system of hierarchy, many of these wonderful winners have been forced to take up administrative positions okay. because that's what the hierarchy in India is. Okay. Second, the runway that is available for these uh, wonderful innovators, wonderful winners, mm -hmm. is short when you look at people who are aged 50. Yeah. Uh, then we looked at whether there have been great examples of people who are under 40, mm -hmm in other environments and in India. We looked at the case of Ramanujan, who did all his seminal work in his 20s. Mm. We looked at Dr. Chandrasekhar, mm. who produced his PhD thesis with Chandrasekhar Libet when he was only 25 at Cambridge. We looked at Sir C.V. Raman's Nobel Prize. He got it at the age of 42. And remember, it was 1930. Yeah. And K.S. Krishnan, who was his uh, co-worker, he was in his 20s. Mm. Uh, then we looked at even outside India. Mm. We realized that Alan Turing pronounced or enunciated the Turing machine concept, mm. which is the precursor to computing technology, yeah. when he was 24. Yeah. We looked at Albert Einstein, who enunciated the special theory of relativity mm. at 26, mm. and the general theory of relativity at 36. Mm. We looked at James Maxwell, mm. the father of electromagnetic theory and Maxwell's equations. He came out with Maxwell's equation when he was between 35 and 36. Yeah. yeah. And we looked at von Neumann. Mm. Von Neumann, the father of stored program computers, which was a major uh, progress in computing. He came out with the idea of stored program computers around 38. Mm. Then he had to convince the Institute for Advanced Studies, which is a theoretical institute, mm to allow him to construct his uh, stored program computer, the world's first stored program computer. And by the age of 42, mm -hmm. he had demonstrated that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have uh, had several examples where people in their 20s, 30s, and uh, you know, around 40, mm -hmm do earth-shaking work. Mm. So we say, given the fact that there are today 23 IITs, mm. 
there are six or seven ICERs, there IAAC, mm -hmm. some of the private inst uh, colleges have upgraded themselves to be able to compete with good institutions, NITs and all of that. We felt that there should be sufficient talent uh, 